Hello everyone, welcome to another video here. In this video we are going to see the concrete mix design for M40 grade of concrete. I have already posted uh, the concrete mix design following IS10262-2019 uh, for M20 concrete already. The links are in the description below. So let's get started. And before we start, I would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button, drop me a comment and share this free program with anyone who might need it. So this particular problem, it is given in IS10262-2019, Annexure A. Uh, I have the links to download this codebook in the description box below. So the question is, uh, we have to design for M40 PPC grade of concrete. Next is uh, maximum nominal size is 20 mm for the aggregates and the exposure is severe. Workability slump is 75 mm. Method of placing the concrete is uh, by using shoots. Degree of site control is good. Type of aggregate is crushed angular aggregate. Maximum cement content not including fly ash is 450 kg per meter cube. Admixture a super plasticizer is used, a normal super plasticizer. And the cement used is PPC conforming to IS 1489 part 1. Special gravity of cement is 2.88. The chemical admixture is a super plasticizer conforming to IS 9103. Special gravity of coarse aggregate is 2.74. Fine aggregate 2.65. Chemical admixture 1.15. And the water absorption is 0.5% for coarse aggregate and 1% for fine aggregate. And the moisture content, both the coarse and fine, they don't have any moisture content present in them. And the, from the sieve analysis of coarse aggregate, we are finding out that it is conforming to table 7 of IS uh, 383 and fine aggregate is conforming to zone 2 of table 9. So this is what is given and from this we can find the mix ratio. So the first step is uh, target strength for the mixed proportioning. Uh, this is same as the previous code. Uh, the same step we have to find the target strength and the target strength will also be greater than our compressive characteristic compressive strength so fck dash is the target strength fck is the characteristic compressive strength and s is the standard deviation and x is a factor based on the grade of concrete so the uh, both these factors can be found out from table 1 and 2 so this is table 1 from table 1 we can find out the value of x for M40, it is 6.5. Similarly, from table 2, we can find out the value of S. For M40, it is 5. After finding that, we can substitute here uh, in this formula and we will get two values and the higher of those two will be taken. So now our target strength is going to be 48.25 Newton per mm square. Next is approximate air content. So again, we are going to table number 3. Coming to table 3. From in table 3, according to the normal size of aggregate, which is 20 mm, the entrapped air percentage is 1%. The next step, this has been found out. Next is selection of water cement ratio. So this is where this code differs from the previous code. Here we are going to find the water cement ratio by using curves. So when we come to figure number 1, it will be something like this. It will be a graph between... Uh, the free water cement ratio and the 28 days compressive strength of concrete. Something which we have to keep in mind is this is not the characteristic compressive strength. This is the target compressive strength at the 28th day. You can see that there are three curves here. The explanation for each curve is given here. The curve 1 is given for OPC 33, curve 2 for 43 and curve 3 for OPC 53 grade and above. So now uh, our cement is not conforming to any of these three things. Our cement is a PPC cement. So for that also they have given a, a exception in the code. While using PPC or PSC the appropriate curve as per the actual strength may be utilized. We don't know the 28 days compressive strength but in case of that also in the absence of actual 28 days compressive strength data curve 2 may be utilized which means curve 43 grade can be utilized. So coming this is my curve 2. So now uh, my uh, 28 days compressive strength of concrete that is my target strength is around 48.25. So this is my target strength and I know it is curve 2. So where 48 coincides with my curve 2 that is going to be my water cement ratio. So here this is 40, 50, 48 is somewhere here. This is approximately just something like this. So 48 will be somewhere here. So if I join it, it will be here. So this point is here. 
around uh, 0 0.36 it is coming. So my, uh, I'm going to take my free water cement ratio as 0 0.36. Coming to our fifth point, it is a selection of water cement ratio. And for uh, by using the curve too, we have found that our uh, water cement ratio is 0 0.36. We know that uh, for severe exposure, uh, the water cement ratio should not be greater than 0 0.45. Uh, since our water cement ratio is less than that, it is safe. Next is selection of water content. So now again we have to go to table number 4. So here we can see that nominal maximum size of aggregate of 20 mm, the water content in kgs is 186 uh, kilograms. So from this uh, we cannot take the value directly because this table is provided for some other value. This table is provided for a 50 mm slump only. Uh, they have also told that in the code, the required water content may be increased or decreased by about 3% for each increase or decrease of 25 mm slump. So our slump value is 75. Our slump value is 75 mm. Uh, we know that for 50 uh, mm, from the table, we know that for the 50 mm, it is 186 kgs. So for 50 mm it is 186 kg and they have told that uh, for every 25 mm we have to increase. For every increase in 25 mm we have to increase it by, by 3%. So I am going to increase it by 3%. So uh, the difference between 50 and uh, 75 is 25. Since it has become a perfect number I don't have to do interpolation. If it is something like 20 then we have to do interpolation and find the percentage which we have to add. So now my new per, um, you know, my new water content is going to be 186 plus 3 percentage of 186. It's nothing but 1.03 of 186. From this I can find my water content. So from table 4 the water content is 186 and for 75 mm it is 3 percentage increase. From that we have found out it is 191.58. So uh, since we are using super plasticizer we don't need to use this much amount of water. So what we are going to do is we are going to reduce the amount of water. So whenever we are using a super plasticizer uh, 23 percentage of water can be reduced. So if we reduce 23 percentage of this only 77 percentage is going to be there. So the 77 percentage of 191.58 will be approximately equal to 148 kg. The sum, uh, something which we have to keep in mind is that a water content reduction of 23 percentage is considered while using the super plasticizer. Uh, next is calculation of cement content. I have already found my uh, water content I already know what is my water cement ratio from that I can find my cement content. I forgot it as uh, 412 kg per meter cube. The minimum uh, for severe exposure condition, the minimum cement content is 320 kg per meter cube. I have got 412 which is well and above that value therefore it is safe. Next is proportion of volume of coarse aggregate and fine aggregate. In order to find that we are coming to table number 5. So in table number 5 we can see that uh, the nominal maximum size of aggregate of uh, for 20 we are finding what is the coarse aggregate per unit volume of total aggregate. This means that the volume of coarse aggregate alone divided by volume of coarse aggregate plus fine aggregate. This volume is what is given here. So coarse uh, for 20 mm and we know the uh, this uh, our fine aggregate is conforming to zone 2. So our uh, volume of coarse aggregate per total volume of aggregates is 0 0.62. Again there is a catch here uh, just like in our uh, water content we also have another rules here. Another set of instructions given in the code. If we turn the page before that we can find that approximate values for this aggregate volume are given in table 5 for a water cement ratio of 0.5 only. For different water cement ratio we have to change that means so which may be suitably adjusted for other ratios the proportion of the volume of coarse aggregate to that of the total aggregates is increased at a rate of 0.01 for every decrease in water cement ratio by 0.05. So for every increase of 0.01, we are decreasing it by 0.05. Whereas in water content, for every increase, there was an increase. Uh, whereas in coarse aggregate, for every increase, there is going to be a decrease. Our uh, water cement ratio is 0.36. But uh, we know that for 0.5 only, the value is given. For 0.5, we have got the value as 0.62. It is 0.62. We need to find what is the value for 0.36. We know that for every decrease in 0 0.05, we have to increase it by 0 0.01. For 0 0.5, we don't have to increase anything. 
whereas for 0.35 we have to increase it by 0.03 but uh, we need to find what is an intermediate value what is for 0.36 since it is between 0.5 and 0.35 on interpolating we can find what is the value it will be approximately 0.028 so this is the uh, amount we have to increase 0.62 is what we got we are increasing it by 0.028 we will get that uh, the volume of core aggregate is 0.648 so next is volume of fine aggregate is equal to 1 minus of uh, the uh, volume of coarse aggregate which is equal to 0.352 now that we have found it next we can go for mixed calculations so for mixed calculation uh, we are going to assume that we are going to uh, form a mix for a volume of about 1 meter we know that the volume of entrapped air is 1 percentage which will be equal to 0.01 meter cube next is volume of cement so we know the uh, mass of cement in kgs we need to know what is the volume of cement so the volume of cement is mass divided by specific gravity into 1 by 1000 which will give me the mass of my cement next is volume of water uh, this is given by again the same formula mass of water divided by specific gravity of water into 1 by 1000 which will give me a volume of 0.148 meter cube similarly we are finding what is the volume of the chemical or mixture uh, the super plasticizer again the mass divided by specific gravity into 1 by 1000 which will give me my volume of uh, chemical admixture next is volume of aggregate in concrete we are going to have cement water uh, chemical admixtures and aggregates and uh, and uh, a part of air is going to be there so we have found out the volume of everything the total volume minus all these things will give us the volume of aggregate right so that is what we are doing here the total volume which is a these letters is what they have mentioned there a represents the answer for the subdivision a b represents the answer for subdivision b and so on so uh, from this we can find that total volume minus all the volumes which we have found will give us the volume of aggregates so a minus b minus of the sum of everything which is nothing but a minus every other volume which will give us the volume of aggregates now we have found out the volume next we have to find out what is the mass of the aggregates we already know the mass of water and cement uh, next we are going to find out the mass of coarse aggregate so in order to find the mass this volume right this volume into the volume of coarse aggregate uh, that we already found the ratio from table number 5 right that one into the specific gravity of coarse aggregate into 1000 here it was 1 by 1000 here it is into 1000 so from that uh, we can find out the mass of coarse aggregate and similarly we will find the mass of the fine aggregate so now we have found out everything the mass of cement water fine aggregate coarse aggregate the chemical admixture etc and the water cement ratio also but uh, in the question if we uh, look at the question there is something called water absorption water absorption of coarse aggregate is 5 per 0.5 percent and that of fine aggregate is 1 percentage so next adjustment for water absorption so what water absorption means is that uh, since the aggregates are going to be very dry they are going to take up the water which has been uh, assigned for the concrete mix therefore we have to add some extra water in order to compensate that uh, water being taken by the coarse aggregate and the fine aggregate so the new volume of fine aggregate is going to be the mass of the fine aggregate in saturated surface dry condition divided by 1 plus the water absorption divided by 100 that is 1 plus the percentage of water absorption uh, this will give us the uh, new volume of fine aggregate so my first volume was 648 my new volume is 642 similarly uh, the same for coarse aggregate with its corresponding water absorption the first volume was 1234 now it is 1228 it has decreased so now that we know what are the new values for coarse and fine aggregate we can also find what are the new values for the water so uh, the for coarse aggregate the difference in the uh, the previous value and the uh, newly found value will give us the extra amount of water and same in the case of fine aggregate so 6 plus 6 in, K, in total of 12 kgs so the new water the previous water content was 148 the new water content is going to be 148 plus 6 plus 6 which will give me 160 kg per meter cube so these are all my uh, new mix proportion cement water fine aggregate coarse aggregate chemical admixture and free water cement ratio in from this we can find the uh, mix ratio also by writing uh, uh, cement is to 
fine aggregate is to coarse aggregate. On doing so, we will get at around uh, 1 is to 1.56 is to 2.98. This will be the uh, mixed design ratio using PPC for M40 grade of concrete. Thank you so much for uh, listening guys. I have uh, uh, given the download link in the description box below. Please do like, share and comment. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.